Oh, woo! So, here's the deal. This is one of those shoes that came out. A lot of tier zero stores received it, but the shoe wasn't that popular when it first came out from the tier zero stores because I don't think people anticipated this shoe being produced at the number that it was produced in. There are times where shoes come out, only these specialty stores get them, and then they get announced on the sneakers app at a much later date. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you really want the shoe, but for those out there who like this shoe, who didn't get a chance to get this shoe, you now have an opportunity to do so, which probably is in your favor. But for those of you who like the more limited, the more, oh, this is kind of exclusive type of feel, maybe this isn't a good look for you. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Either way, this shoe is coming out on July 7th. And before we get into the review further, family, welcome to all of our new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Rebel Gang channel, gang. Y'all could have been doing anything else, but you decided to pull up on us. I appreciate you. To my returning subscribers, family, y'all know what's up. It is time to bring that energy because we got a really smooth shoe to talk about. Let's go ahead and get in today's review of the Nike Nocta Hot Step Air Terra in its black colorway. this shoe has been out. I understand that there are plenty of people who have this shoe already, but for those of you who have missed on your opportunity to have this shoe, yes, we're going to talk about the review, but I also want to talk about its release on July 7th on the sneakers app. So for those of you who missed it at these tier zero stores, if maybe there was a raffle in your area, you missed out on it, July 7th may very well be your last opportunity to cop this at retail. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the details of the shoe. A really soft sneaker. What I mean by that is this. The materials are really soft. We have a pebbled leather upper, a pebbled leather tongue detail, a mesh over an overall mesh tongue, mesh interior, and then we have this super soft G-Tech outer sole with an exposed air unit. It's soft. It's 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 a comfortable shoe. And as far as sizing goes, this is actually an 11 and a half. I wish it was a 12, but shout out to my fam at Atmos USA. I was able to go into the store and pick up a pair. They did warn me that sizing is really snug on these and going down a, a half size is probably not the best idea true to size if not a half size up is what you want to do bare minimum true to size which is going to give you that more snug feel i really do want a 12 in this but i can fit the 11 and a half now it is really tight but it's it's like it's tight but it's still comfortable it's a little weird to explain but nonetheless family when you're going for your sizing i recommend going true to size if you want a more snug fit or go a half size up if you want that more traditional normal sneaker fit me i'm going for a size 12 normal size to give myself a little bit more of a snug fit because the materials are so soft as you wear this shoe over time with these materials being as soft as they are it is really going to conform and shape to your foot as time goes on i really truly believe that this is a truly soft tumbled pebble leather and then as you guys can see right here normally with outer soles on an air max or i guess i've never had a hot step before this is my first one traditionally speaking we normally get a harder outer sole in my opinion when it comes to some of these air maxes not necessarily hard to a point where it's like walking on wood or anything but it, it doesn't feel it feels more spongy than anything and right here you guys can easily see you guys see how you can press that in a really soft outer sole it's going to react really well to your foot movement as you're walking your foot going up and down you got energy going through your body through your foot it's going to really do its due diligence and making sure that it conforms to your foot in a really nice way not only that but we have some really subtle nike and nocta details going all around the shoe i think it's i think it's pretty cool man on the tongue you have those three dagger i'm gonna call them daggers i don't know if they're crosses or what but i'm going to call them daggers you have these three daggers right here that knocked the logo that knocked a symbol right there on the tongue of the shoe you also have that same branding on the other tongue as well and on the inner sole of the shoe too so you guys can see that right there you have the three then you have Nocta, and then you have the nike check on the bottom you have this black and blue mixed outer sole with that silver g tech awr branding right there and then you also have hints of silver going around the shoe with the nike check the g tech logo right there on the back you have hints of chrome on the back side of the heel 
sole as well. Not only that, but you also have a little bit of 3M in this shoe. Now me personally, I love the hints of 3M, whether it's the Nike checks, the Chrome hints, all of this is 3M. And even on the ventilation unit, all of the holes right here, those are 3M as well. So when you get out and about, man, you're walking, the light hits your shoe just right, the entire shoe is going to light up and it's going to be really dope. But there are also times where you're just wearing this shoe and it's just a really chill black sneaker. Like you could, this is a shoe, you could wear this to a day party. You could wear this to an event, to a basketball game. Granted, I wouldn't necessarily say you could dress this up and wear it with like a suit or anything like that, but you may be able to get away with it. Just really depends on how you look at it. And I love this small hint of like lime green, that off like green color that's in there, that light green, yellowish green color that's in there on the air unit to give the shoe a little bit of contrast, family. All in all, the shoe is really, really dope. This is the pair right here. And I love the fact that we actually have the smaller tongue system as well. I actually think that helps a little bit more with the fit of the shoe. And also to go along with the fit of the shoe, the tongue does not, actually, let me just go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. The tongue does not fully come up off the shoe. This is as far as that tongue comes up right there. So it is hitched into the shoe. You know how some tongues they'll just come up and they'll just lay on your foot. This one is actually strapped in to the shoe. So it does not come up. It does give you a tighter fit around the top of your foot. So anybody out there who has a wide foot, like a really wide foot, I have a wide foot, but not like really, really wide foot. I recommend going a half size up for you. Now, if you have a wider foot to a more true to size type of foot, go with your normal size. If you want a snug fit, go up a half size if you want a looser. Me personally, I like this shoe. If I cannot hit on a size 12 on the sneakers app, I am perfectly fine with keeping this 11 and a half, taking out the inner soles and putting in a thin cushioned inner sole inside of the shoe and being just fine. Cause at the end of the day, you're not gonna be paying attention to my inner soles. That's just, that's a little weird. As far as the box goes family, nothing crazy about the box at all. You do have your Nocta details on there, but it's your traditional half brown, half gray box. And it does have Nocta right here. You have your Nocta crosses or your daggers right there on the side. And then you do have your Nike check over here on top of the lid. Tag right there. As you guys can see, this is 11 and a half. Tag does read Hot Step Air, Terra, Nocta, Black, Chrome, and Bright Cactus. So that interior air unit, that off green, greenish color, that's Bright Cactus. That's what we're gonna go with because that's what Nike said. Family, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this Nike Hot Step Air Terra in its Nocta Black colorway. Is this a shoe that you're going for? Do you already have it? Are you good? And maybe you're just like, you know what? I'm passing on these because I already have them. Like I said, me personally, if I can't get that size 12, I'll just keep this 11 and a half. Take the inner soles out, man, and I'll, I'll be just fine. Let me know your thoughts, gang. I appreciate you. I love you. Let me know your favorite detail of the shoe. Family, with that being said, it's your guy, Mac the Rebel, checking out of this video with the Hot Step Air Terra in its Nocta Black colorway. Enjoy the on foot that is about to hit your screen. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. And we out. Peace.